In this video, I will explain how to take the derivative of logarithmic functions. So just like in the video that I did for exponential functions, we're going to take a look at four simple rules that we can use to take the derivative of logarithmic functions. So the simplest function that we can take the derivative of is ln x, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. This is just something that you'll have to remember. So we can expand on this. If we want to take the derivative of ln of some bigger part, we'll call this g of x, and we'll come back to this part later. We'll go over some other examples. In order to take the derivative, all we have to do is take 1 over, and then that g of x part, the more complicated part in brackets, multiplied by the derivative of g of x. And once again, we'll go over some examples of these in a bit. So our next template function is f of x is equal to log base a of x. And so the derivative of this function, f prime of x, is equal to 1 over x multiplied by ln of a. And so I'll go over some examples, and this will probably make more sense. But our last template function is f of x is equal to log base a of g of x. And so g of x here is just a more complicated part in the brackets. So the derivative of this is f prime of x is equal to 1 over g of x multiplied by ln of a, and all of this is multiplied by g prime of x. All right, so let's walk into our first example. The function that we're going to be taking a look at is f of x is equal to ln in brackets here, we have 3x squared plus 5. So in order to take this derivative, we're just going to follow one of those templates that I just showed you. So this would be ln of g of x. So we're going to, the derivative is 1 over 3 of x squared plus 5. So we take g of x. And now we're going to multiply this by the derivative of that inside function, which is 6x. And we can just rewrite this as 6x over 3x squared plus 5. Okay, so let's check out another problem. In this question, we have the function f of x is equal to 2x multiplied by ln of x. So here we're going to have to use the product rule. You guys should know this by now, but if not, I have a video on it that you can check out. So the derivative of this function, we're going to take the derivative of the first term, which is just 2, multiplied by the second term, which is ln of x. And we're going to add it to the derivative of the second term, 1 over x, like from the example before, and multiply that by the first term, 2x. So now we can just simplify this. This becomes 2 ln x plus 2, and that's it. All right, so now let's try a bit of a tougher one. The function that we're going to look at in this example is f of x is equal to ln, and then we have this big bracket here. On the top, we have 4x plus 2 to the exponent 4, and on the bottom, we have 2x plus 1 to the exponent 3. So in order to take this derivative, we're going to first rewrite an equivalent um, form of this function. So we can actually separate these terms. We have ln of the top, 4x plus 2, to the exponent 4, and we can subtract ln of the bottom. So we know this from the rules of logarithmic functions. So now we can take those exponents as constants outside. So the first term becomes 4 multiplied by ln, and in brackets, 4x plus 2. And the second term, which we subtract, becomes 3 multiplied by ln, 2x plus 1. So now we're in a better position to take the derivative of this function. So we can take the derivative of the first term. We take the constant out front, which is 4, and multiply it by 1 over 4x plus 2, and then multiply it by the derivative of 4x plus 2, which is 4. Now the second term, we have this 3 out front. We're going to multiply by 1 over, and then 2x plus 1, that part in brackets, and then multiply by the derivative of 2x plus 1, which is 2. And I'll leave it to you guys to simplify. So now we'll go over our final example. This question, we're going to take the derivative of f 
of x is equal to, we have these brackets here, log base 2 of e to the exponent x plus 2. And then all of this is going to be to the exponent 3. So all we have to do is follow the rules. First off, we have our product rule. So we're going to take that exponent 3. We're going to multiply it by everything on the inside. And then we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent. So it becomes 2. But we're not quite done yet. So now we have to take the derivative of that entire inside. So we know the derivative of log base 2 e to the exponent x plus 2. We're going to take the inside, so e to the x plus 2. We're going to multiply it by ln of the base, which is ln 2. But then we have to take the derivative of those brackets, which is e to the exponent x. So I'm not going to simplify this one either, but you guys can figure it out. So as you can see in this video, a lot of the rules that we've learned in the past are starting to come together in more complex questions. So if you're still having trouble with things like the power rule or the product rule, you can take a look at some of my older videos for some review. If you guys have any questions on taking the derivative of logarithmic functions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll answer your questions.